Honestly, it used to be so cool. I always looked up to you, and you made me feel so much better about myself. And you even got to, you got me to know myself. But nowadays, you're, you just changed. I've been really scared to tell you that you're just not the same person you used to be, you know? You told me you would be my wingman once I picked up Becky from her house. You told her I had the smelliest sweat stains a man could have. And that's, I started thinking, red flag, but I'm like, no, just kidding around. And the thing is, is like, when I think someone is kidding, they're usually insulting me. It's a bad habit I have, and I'm trying to break it. It's just tough. So that being said, I don't know if I can be your friend anymore. Listen, I know this can be really hard for you because we go way back, like 12 years. I understand you haven't said anything yet because you're grieving. You didn't know that I could break it off, but it has to be done. Don't even start saying, well, you did this or remember that one time? No, I apologized and I did my best to make it up to you. I just can't do it anymore. So please leave. Dude, Becky was your sister. How many times do I have to say this to you? Also, Becky knows about your sweat stain. She's the one that told me. <laughs> we used to make fun about it like all the time. <laughs> we came up with a nickname called Sweaty Dill. <laughs> oh no, I'm totally insulting you. I'm glad you're breaking it off. You were never a good friend to me in the first place. You stole $150,000 off me. That money was supposed to go to my car. I don't know if you know this, but I could sue you right now. Remember when you were drinking that time and you were like, hey guys, let's go for a ride. And for some reason down the highway, you just slammed right into a stop sign. Injuring your mom and dad, Mike, Jerry, and the other one, I can't think of right now, but he wasn't even that important. The fifth person was your girlfriend, dude. Anyways, you've done so much stuff and I paid you back. Are you kidding? You gave me 20 bucks and said, hey man, I got you back next week. It's been four months. Yeah, I've been trying to pay that back. And we will be back after this commercial. Have you ever looked at a bottle of bleach and thought, hey, this can make me feel absolutely but clean. hold on a second. It's 2021, we can't be making those type of jokes. No, I'm talking about throwing a cup or two into the washer with your load of wipes. You ever have a nice pair of socks and they're just kind of ripped and gray and you just want them to go back to being white? Old Dutch, not the chips. <laughs> you haven't even been trying to pay that back. You came home the other day with two Xbox 360s. Oh, uh, dude, I turned your hat around and I came home with an Xbox One. Oh, yeah. And you came home with an Xbox One. I don't know what you're talking about when saying I'm the bad friend when I could have had a car a couple months ago. If that's the way you want it, I'll leave my own house. I'll go to the landlord. You could have my applications and everything. Live here. Okay. Bye. What just happened? You never had your own house before, champ. You did it. <laughs> All it took was an argument and you got your own apartment. So easy. Just fight more with my friends.